How do you wrap a kitten for Christmas? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning! Yes, my hair is down, but it'll be up soon enough. Chill out! Thanks for joining us today and making us a part of your daily routine. We ask you on a weekly basis to ask us for advice that we can then give back to you the answer. I don't know why you keep asking, but we keep answering. On Facebook, Angela Pater asks, how can I wrap a kitten? And I assume this is for Christmas. I've wondered this. Um, you have wondered this? No, I've never, never, never thought about this until this moment, to be completely honest with you. First things first, do not give a kitten to anyone at Christmas as a gift unless you are absolutely sure that they want a kitten. Either that or if you hate them and hate cats because hmm. no one is gonna be happy. So uh, we have to get that out of the way. Giving, a, giving a, uh, a pet as a present is a very dangerous thing for everybody involved. That's what I'm trying to say. But A fish is a different story though. Yeah, a fish isn't a pet. Everybody knows that. Okay. It's like cheerleading is not a sport. All the fish lovers just, oh wow, the fish lovers oh. and the cheerleaders. You, this, this show, we want to retain viewership. We, you I'm might sorry. wanna retract that. I didn't mean that, it was just a joke. In my extensive research, I have only found one internet documented case of a cat being successfully Christmas wrapped. Flippy cat. This exists. And this cat, He's totally it's, cool with it. He's very compliant. I don't think a kitten would go for that. Maybe a cat, but not a kitten. Now, but it, he didn't wrap the head though. I mean, you gotta enclose the head and put breathing holes. I mean, I know. I, I, listen, I don't. No, that's not, not, that's not my advice. I'm not just my advice either. But I'm just saying, it seems if just for a second, it's got to be completely wrapped. Well, listen, holes. no one else has been able to wrap a cat at all. This is the only guy who's been able to do that. But I will say, I did find out that that cat passed away, not as a result of being wrapped in a Christmas uh, wrapping, but very shortly thereafter, did not even get to experience that video going viral back in 2009. That's sad. So I don't know, I don't think there's a connection, but there may be. Um, I think the, the conclusion is if you're gonna wrap your cat, you need, to, you need to put the kitten in a box right before you hand it to the person and then they can take the lid off. But I, I just wanna go a step further. With breathing holes. I, yes, with breathing holes. But I wanna go one step further here and say, you, you really need to think this through because by putting a cat in a box, you're contributing to the cat anti-Christmas sentiment that is going across catdom. You know cats they hate, hate Christmas. Christmas Shh, yeah. But I've amassed a few cat meme pictures here in order to prove my point, to talk you out of wrapping your kitten. This is my happy Christmas face. Oh, this is, mm, I get it, it's a smart cat. Every year it's the same thing. You dress me up like this, then wonder why I knock over the tree. I doubt that happens. You know, nah, cats knock over trees, man. They eat ornaments. They, they, they urinate on things is what they do. Those candy canes are making you fatter. It's my favorite, little gilt cat. These cats are so snarky. Your gift is in the litter box. And lastly, Last Christmas I gave you my heart, but the very next day, your body rejected the transplant and you died. Okay. So hopefully we talked you out of that one. All right, another quick one from Sawyer Holcomb says, how to fall asleep on Christmas Eve? People need to learn how to form questions. How do I fall asleep on Christmas Eve? It's probably the better way to ask that, but I'm gonna answer it anyway. Well, you study grammar. Uh, first that, of that, all. That'll put you right out. Uh, Sawyer, this is a common question. I remember having this feeling when I was a kid. Uh, let me just tell you that you grow out of this. I'm not gonna have any trouble at all going to sleep on Christmas Eve. I'm probably gonna go to sleep at like 9.30, to be honest with you. <laughs> My kids are gonna be up. I, and I'm just gonna do whatever they want to. Christmas Eve, free run of the house. Yeah, but he's as a kid. Make themselves uh, eggnog. Uh, but what you, and first of all, eggnog will help. Depending if, on what's in it. If it's spiked. but. The more serious answer is you just need to stand in the middle of your room, stand up in the middle of your room and do math in your head until you fall asleep. That always works for my kids. And then you'll fall over, suffer a concussion, and what's Christmas without a concussion? Now it's time for the Act Styled in Seconds Challenge. 
In this week's Axe Styled in Seconds Challenge, Link has to make a Christmas smoothie from assorted Christmas ingredients. Link, what do you got over there? I got some candy canes, gingerbread women, uh, fruity Christmas cake, turkey, apple cider, and eggnog. Okay, so Link has to take all these ingredients, blend them, create a smoothie, then pour the smoothie into his empty glass and finish the smoothie in the time that it takes me to style my hair. Link, are you ready? <sighs> yes. Styling begins in three, two, one, go. Dumping in, dumping in. Turkey, nastiness. Yeah. How's that, how's that Christmas smoothie? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, you can't do it? Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, hey, stop, stop where you're at, because I'm done. <laughs> well, are you vomiting over there? Yeah, I couldn't, it was so chunky, man. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Something, oh. Something, whoo. Some nasty chunks in there, man. Turkey chunks. <laughs> gingerbread women turkey chunks. Oh, God. Nothing worse than a chunky gingerbread woman. Okay, I've pulled ahead with one week to go. How does that shake, Link? That smoothie. You gonna start selling that on the street? I thought I was just gonna be able to knock it back, man, but it knocked me out. You know what day it is. It's Thursday. And Thursday. Well, mythical mail boulder magically spins. Sometimes it's delayed because someone has to walk over to it. No, in order to spin it, no. no it's magic, it's, it's magic. Just, it's not it's listening magic. well. And then sometimes it actually comes up and comes over to the table, but that might require a lot of chaos. Uh-oh. And walking through frame, who uh -oh. cares? Here we go. Oh my goodness, look at it, it's floating, it's floating. Beaumont, California. It's floating. Dear Rhett and Link, this is our first oh, season floating. watching GMM, and we'd love to contribute to your mythical mail boulder. The styling head is for Link to practice cutting women's hair for his mobile salon business. Look at that, Link. And look at this. It's like your daughter. Lieutenant Worf is in honor of Rhett becoming a Klingon. Oh. And check this out. As for the 40 caliber bullet, it doesn't mean anything. We just thought it would be cool to look at the mythical mail boulder and know there is a live round in there somewhere. Thanks for making a great show for us. We'll be seeing you every weekday. Yes, Frick family from, oh, and look. They, it's a hollow point 40 round, They drew 40 caliber. Oh, they drew, uh, they drew us from the broccoli episode. That's a, that. that's a sketch there. That is quite a rendering. For any safety concerns, oh. the bullet may pop if subjected to extreme heat or pressure, but it will not fire with any penetrating force unless it is first loaded into a gun. So even if the mythical build motor were to be burned, crushed, or dropped from a tall building, which we may very well do if it gets big enough, there would be no bullet firing out of it. Thank you for the clarification. This is pretty cool that now we actually have live I'm ammunition. We have live ammunition that is being added to the Mythical Mail Boulder. Frick family, you guys get a signed Good Mythical Morning poster available for purchase at dftba.com slash Rhett and Link. No, they don't want this on there, right? They just want me to use this no, for that, my own personal use. He goes on there. Really? No, I think this is for me. I think the bullet is for the, I'm, this is for bath time. And this is for practicing. You know what time it is. I'm Shayma from Saudi Arabia. And I'm Fatima from Egypt. It's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. You can win a one-of-a-kind signed poster only available as part of our 12 Mythical Days of Christmas over at facebook.com slash Rhett and Link. So head over there and participate. You can start now. You can still win all the stuff from every day up until now. And stay tuned to Good Mythical More where Rhett is going to drink some of this. You both suddenly don't recognize each other. Hey, hey man. Uh... Who are you? You're um. My name is my name, my name is Rhett. You've been here. You've been here a while. Yeah, I've been sitting here for I don't know the past nine minutes or so. Weird because I have been too. What's your name? Link. 
That's not a real name, is it? Yeah. Well, yeah, it is. What's it's that not, short for? It's, well, it's short for Lincoln, but it is real. With a C? Is it in with a C? Yeah. L-I-N-C? Like zinc? It rhymes with zinc? And no, Lincoln's with a C. Lincoln's with a K. That's stupid. How, how, who Spelled came up with differently. that? Spelled, my parents, they always come out. You call my parents stupid, stranger? <laughs> I think we should keep her right there in every episode. Look, oh, <laughs> look, and look, the way that it is, you can't, she looks She looks like she's naked. Naked baby doll show. Oh, see, I just dropped it. Could have shot off and gone right through your glasses. 